Two wides right for Mertz. He'll fake it left. Now he'll roll out right. Pass is caught in it right away. Montreal Johnson did make the catch. But that went absolutely nowhere as Isaac Smith made the stop for the Bulldogs. Picked up maybe a yard or so. Second down coming up. They do give him two to the 18th, second and eight. Nine and a half to play first quarter. There is no score. Two receivers left for Mertz out of the shotgun. He'll take the snap. He'll throw. Looking right. Still looking right. Now throws. Man, is open, but he overshot him. He had the guy in between the two deep safeties. That was Elijah Badger, who was the intended receiver. And credit Mississippi State's Hunter Washington coming over and knocking the ball away. But that, that corner route was there to be had for Florida, and they couldn't and they couldn't convert it. Two receivers right and one left. Ball on the right hash. That is the far side of the field. Mertz bluffs the snap a few times. Sends the man in motion. Now he'll throw. Looking left. Comes it out in the flat. Johnson has a long way to go for his first down, and he will get it, I think. Depends on the spot. He needed the 26, and I think he got the 26. He made a couple of guys miss and was able to get the first down. Mertz will throw, swing it out right side, passes caught, and that is going to go to the 30 and tackle around the 31-yard line. Good catch by Aiden Mizell in the right flat. Total on eight and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. There is no score. Florida and Mississippi State doing battle. Blanton making the stop for the Bulldogs. Mertz will... Going without a huddle, two receivers right and one left. Lines up in the pistol. And Mertz will hand it off, going up the middle. And that's going to be another first down. Hand off to Traquan Webb. Two receivers left and two right. Mertz will line up in the shotgun as Mississippi State makes their final substitution. The center judge uh, stepping over the ball. Mississippi State is trying to make adjustments defensively. They do get set up. Mertz will swing it out left side, passes caught. At the 40, at the 45 midfield, Mizell again, and they don't quite give him the first down. He he stepped out maybe around the 46. He needed the 47 for a first down, his own 47, and he got the, the 46-yard line. So second down and one coming up for Florida as we prepare to hit the seven-minute mark of this first quarter. There is no score between Florida and Mississippi State. Mertz will line up in the shotgun. Sends a man in motion. Second and one, do they take a shot? They will. Mertz, looking right, comes back left, looking left, now looks middle. Now he's going to run. Let's look at his first down, 50, 35, 40, and it'll slide down before he hits the Mississippi State 35-yard line. They'll put it down at the Mississippi State 38. Florida on the move as we wind down on the six-and-a-half-minute mark. And Mertz will fake the handoff. Now he'll throw. Man wide open, but there was pressure right in his face, and it goes awry on the zone read. There is a flag down, so they might have hit Mertz in the head. On a rubbing the passer, Mizell, the intended receiver. Mississippi State brought two free rushers, and Mertz just had to uncork it, but they do call a roughing the passer. Or, or excuse me, Lagway's in. Lagway runs it left, going to the 20, and he'll get thrown out of bounds. Now Lagway comes out of the game. He picked up three, second down and seven. So they brought in the, the running quarterback, and now they bring back in Graham Mertz. Welcome back to start with everybody. Florida is on the move here in this First quarter, second drive of the game for them. We'll see what happens as they brought in uh, DJ Lagway the last play, and there was a stoppage as Graham Mertz came back in. Jay Douglas, back with you. So glad you joined us here on this Saturday afternoon from Starkville. Both teams one and two trying to get that first conference win of the season. Mertz out of the pistol, and they hand it off. Johnson back in the game, and he gets to the 17, maybe the 16. They'll mark it down at the 17. Picked up three more, so it brings up second, or third down and four. This will be the 10th play of the drive. Mississippi State trying to force a field goal opportunity. Florida trying to get in the end zone. Two receivers stacked in the left, two tight ends right. Now they motion to tight end left. Mertz takes the snap, he'll throw. Looking left, still looking left. Goes back right, still looking. Mertz, pump fake, still looking. Pulling out right, he'll get his first down. And he'll dive ahead, and he got to the 10, first and goal, Florida. Mertz, hands off, Johnson, up the middle. And he'll get to the 7, maybe the 6, second and goal from the 6. Mississippi State got an opening week win against Eastern Kentucky. They've lost their last two to Arizona State and surprisingly to Toledo here at home. Florida lost to Miami week 1, beat Sanford week 2, and then lost last week to Texas A&M. So Florida 0-1 in the SEC, Mississippi State's conference opener. Mertz with two receivers stacked to the right and two tight ends left. From the six, Dyke in motion. Hand it off. Johnson up the middle at the five. Breaks one tackle and he'll dive ahead to maybe the three. 
So third and goal from the three. This might be two down territory for the Gators if you think about. It. Johnson stays in there. Mertz at the quarterback spot, so the pass option is available. Third and goal from the three. Could be two downs, like I said. Three receivers bunch to the left. That's the far side of the field. Single receiver right. Ball on the left hash. Mertz out of the shotgun. Motions Dyke or Mizell, excuse me. Mertz will throw. Looking left. Throws left. Johnson wide open. It's not Johnson. It's eight instead of one. But a touchdown nonetheless for Florida. Arliss Boardingham with the catch. So Boardingham comes into the game, gets the touchdown, and the Gators get on top. Seven or six nothing. So they had Boardingham in the flat, and they just ran kind of the rub route. Defense is called a pick play. Offense is called the rub, and just everything gets just gets chaotic in there. And the defender Isaac Smith got caught up in the wash, and Boardingham gets the touchdown. Merge to Boardingham, three yards out, six nothing. Florida extra point is good, make it seven nothing. But Florida seven and Mississippi State nothing. Three thirty nine play first quarter. Mississippi State will try and answer when we come back. Florida off to a good start. Their second drive of the afternoon turns into a touchdown. Jay Douglas back with you here in start. Well, 7-0 Florida as we wind down this first quarter. Ardalus Boardingham with the touchdown reception from Grand Mertz. And now Mississippi State will return the kick at the 10. 15 up the right side. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Still going and finally thrown out of bounds around the 45-yard line. As the Bulldogs go from right to left, a scrimmage from their own 38. First and 10 Bulldogs as Shapin will have two receivers, one to each side, a tight end left and H-back right. Shapin will hand it off. 40. And going to the 45-yard line is Lee. KV on Lee, just short of the 45. Second down coming up for the Bulldogs. Jeff Levy is first tenure as a coach ever. He's always been a coordinator. And they will try Lee again. And Lee will get nowhere. He maybe got a yard to the 45. Brings up third down and three. 256 and counting here in the first quarter. Shaping out of the shotgun. He will hand it off. Lee. And Lee's going to get his first down. And he's going to the Florida 45-yard line. Maybe just stop short of it. So they get the first down at the Florida 44. So Lee has carried the ball three straight times, and that's the first third down conversion as they now run a jet sweep. Coleman trying to get outside, 40, 35, maybe not quite to the 35-yard line. Coming up on two minutes to play here in the first quarter. 7 nothing Florida, Boardingham with the touchdown reception. Mississippi State's got things in groove right now. Shaping, let's see if they take a shot on second and one. They will. He's going to look right. Still looking, tons of time. Gonna roll out right. Pressure coming. Throws right. Pass is caught at the 35. Still going. At the 20. Down to the 15. Oh, hurdle. Oh, he almost fumbled. Got it back. Black is down. So hold everything as Treyor made the catch. Almost lost it. It's gonna be on Florida. It'll be declined. So first and 10. Bulldogs from their from the Florida 10. We'll see where they actually put the ball down. They put it at the 11. Handoff. This is. Lee, I believe, and he gets inside the 10, maybe to the 9. Mississippi State going in a hurry. Ball at the 8. Ball at the Florida 8, second down. They need the 1 for a first down. We'll try Booth again. Booth inside the 5, down around the 4, maybe the 3. So third down and 2. Booth says, feed me again. We'll see if they do. We're under a minute in the first quarter, but Mississippi State is not slowing down. They are keeping their foot on the gas pedal. Third and 2. The 1 will get them a first down, the goal line for a touchdown. Can't, uh, Coleman in motion. Fake it to him. Booth up the middle. Has his first down. Don't think he got the touchdown, but he did get inside the one to get the first down. Booth the running back. He will get it. Booth up the middle. Scores. 22 seconds in the first quarter. Mississippi State with great starting field position, and they waste no time going down the field, and they did it all at lightning pace as Devon Booth with the one-yard touchdown run. He set it up with the kick return and gets rewarded with the touchdown. As Mississippi State, they could have let the quarter expire on numerous occasions, chose not to, chose to just keep going at warp speed to keep the momentum, and they get rewarded with the touchdown. And the extra point is good. 7-7. Seven to seven. We got a game now here in Starkville. 21 seconds to play. Florida 7 and Mississippi State 7. 